YouTube, what is up? It's your first garden update for the 2019 season. Got in front of me is my everybody's new favorite fig, little dwarf Miss Figgy. Got it from Cross Creek Nursery, Nursery in Midlothian, Virginia. This thing has got some nice figs on it. It's like the new thing everybody's craving about on YouTube. Side, we got my black mission. A lot of people don't like to grow back mission. I personally like it and enjoy it. Don't care what people think. Nice size figs on it. The this tree is probably only about a year old. This one's less to me. My verde is a strawberry verde and a verde the same thing. Maybe you guys could help me. I know it's a green fig. It has like a raspberry flesh. This one's pretty loaded. Every single branch has got a good five or six on it. It's another one of them trees, the Black Mission and the Verde I got from uh, Rolling River Nursery in California, mail order. It's my Olympia. This one's never really produced a lot of figs. It had problems. First spot we planted it, redug it, potted it. Still never done much. White Marcellus I got from Lowe's. Uh, pinched all the tops. Only a few figs here and there. None that I can see at the moment, but... Uh, yeah, no figs hardly. Unknown variety I got from Lowe's. $25 tree. Can't beat it for the size. And all the... It is pretty loaded. It's probably either an Olympia, brown turkey, or a Celeste. I did get a Celeste this year. Pretty excited about that. Look at the size of that trunk. Pretty nice size tree. It needs some heavy pruning. Next year, it only has a few figs on it here and there. It's starting to rain, so I'm trying to make this quick. This is my brown turkey fig, an official brown turkey. It's got some figs on it as well. I know a lot of people don't like to grow this one either, but I don't care what people think. I got this from Rolling River, sorry, not Rolling River, Cross Creek Nursery in Midlothian, Virginia. This is a white honey fig. I'm not exactly sure the variety or if that is the variety. These are two air layers off my big tree, which I'll show you in a second. This is a Violent de Bordeaux. From what I hear, the Little Miss Figgy is a modified branch off of the this one. And a little groove down there. Um, this is a Chicago Hardy. I got this one from Hertz. Uh, same thing with the Violent de Bordeaux, the Panache, my other white Marcellus, and the Chicago Hardy. I ordered them off of Walmart.com through Hertz Garden, I believe it is. This is a Another Chicago Hardy I got from Lowe's out of a box. Literally, out of a box. Uh, another white Marcellus that I got from Hertz Garden mail order. This one's my Panache Tiger Stripe. You guys know about that. Very small plant. These were all two inches when I got them last year towards the end of the summer. So they've done very well. It was a mulberry tree growing out of one of my pots, one of my peaches. I dug it up, took some damage, but it is still alive. I didn't plant it, so whatever happens, happens. For your persimmon, if you guys remember my old videos, this thing damaged in shipping. Then, over winter, the greenhouse collapsed and broke more branches off. If you guys can see the trunk of this thing, it kind of winds and spirals up the, the support beam. It's got a little funky elbow right there. I'm pruning this thing heavy, trying to get it to grow vertical. Now, guys, had a little bit of frost damage on all these. If you remember, they're about 10 foot tall. I cut everything straight across the top. I have not pinched one branch on this tree. Not one. It is loaded. I think just from the sheer pruning. Uh, this one is a Brava or an overwintered fig. Not 100% sure which one. I have another one right there. It's one old growth. It may just be an overwintered fig. But they were the first ones there. But I mean, you guys can see this thing is, is loaded from head to every single branch. It's just loaded. You can see where I pruned it back, the height. This is uh, probably my stomach height. 
probably four foot of growth and just loaded. I'll be getting figs off of this thing probably to the second frost of the year. And if you guys remember my pawpaws, got these from Rolling River Nursery as well. Seedling pawpaw. You see the rollingrivernursery.com right there. These things didn't do very good the first year, but their second year, they put on more growth than the entire tree when I got it. So they're literally double the size they were when I got them. Pretty excited. I also found some wild pawpaws here in Richmond, Virginia. That was pretty exciting as well. No video though. I'll show you guys my blackberries and blueberries very quick. Not doing too good this year. Blackberries, I don't know if you guys can see, you got a net over them because they're just getting eaten a lot by the critters. The wind literally took up my six foot tall stalk and knocked out all my fruit, new fruit for the year. So all this is old growth. I did put in a couple new plants, you guys can see. There's a uh, Thornless Traveler, Primark Freedom, something like that. My blueberry bush as well. This thing was loaded with blueberries. And then I got busy, slacked off with life, couldn't get out here to the garden, and 90% of my blueberries are gone. Live and learn. You can hear me say that a lot. Same thing happened with the other blueberry bush. It was pretty loaded. Critters got to it. Two other blueberry plants, no fruit this year. I did put in a uh, Navajo thornless blackberry. Different variety. It's being overtaken by the squash. But once it gets rid of this fruit, it'll shoot up. We got squash, tomatoes, cucumbers, mint, cilantro, you name it. It is all just jam-packed in here. Most of this was volunteer. Didn't plant any of this this year. I'll show you guys my big trees real fast. We got two, three stone fruits. I'm pretty sure the two peaches and a plum. Maybe nectarine. I don't know exactly what this is. It's got a d different leaf pattern on it than I'm used to seeing for a, a stone fruit. But I'm pretty sure it's a stone fruit, and this one's my peach. It's my dwarf mulberry, ever bearing. Got from Lowe's as well. And my American persimmon tree. This thing's gonna get planted in the front yard soon. It's just too hard to keep up watering this thing in this little container. Got more squash, more tomates, tomatoes, some garlic, a whole bunch of cucumbers. We ain't going up in there. And that's a update for 2019 June.